The Northern Territory now, it seems a day doesn't pass without more street violence of some sort in the main centres, Alice Springs and Darwin. Now, our reputation uh, as a destination for foreign students, sadly, has taken another beating literally overnight. An international student from Bangladesh has been uh, diagnosed as clinically dead at the Royal Darwin Hospital. This is tra tragically sad. His home was violently broken into in the early hours of Wednesday morning and the 23-year-old was viciously and mercilessly attacked, which saw his flatmates discover him in a pool of his own blood. Now, students at Charles Darwin University are hosting a demonstration against violence to support their fellow pupil. Will this demonstration finally make the Northern Territory Government sit up and listen? Because clearly nothing has so far. Joining me now is Leah Fanaccio, who is the leader of the opposition in the Northern Territory Government. Leah, uh, apologies about mangling your surname, but this is such a, an important issue. That student's parents would have let him get on that plane to Darwin, thinking Australia was a safe country, Darwin a safe city. It's not the case now, is it? Uh, it's a horrendous time to be a Territorian. We're on the front pages and in the national and international spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Today, I stood shoulder to shoulder with a number of students at Charles Darwin University and the Bangladeshi and, and other multicultural communities in solidarity around an end to the violence. And, of course, this is not uh, the first time we've seen horrendous and tragic attacks. But I think what's really captured people over the last 24 hours is the fact that this young man was 23 years old. He came to Darwin for an opportunity, a, a good education, a, a new start with a new life. And now he's literally fighting for his life in hospital. And people feel, you know, your home should be the number one place where you can be safe and to be asleep in bed and be so viciously attacked to be fighting for your life is just a, a tale of absolute tragedy. And people are heartbroken and they want change. They need this government to act sooner than later. How many lives need to be lost before they'll start to take action and put the rights of people to be safe above the rights of criminals? Leah, what uh, feedback did you get from those students you mingled with today? What were they saying to you? There was heartbreak. They were angry, frustrated, of course, um, a very a, a very big range of mixed emotions. There was petitions going around and a lot of talk of action. There will be a rally next week on the steps of Parliament House, which I expect will be very well attended. They want to see immediate actions to address student safety, um, starting with the university. But this just shows how desperate our community has become because of the government's failure to keep people safe. Our public transport system, which only involves buses here in the top end, um, is, is unsafe. We, we're struggling to get bus drivers because they are under attack, let alone if you're a passenger. And so students are wanting different uh, shuttle buses and, and everyone's trying to work around the situation. But ultimately, the government have the power to walk into Parliament next week and enact change. We will support any laws that make our community safe. In fact, we're bringing forward our own bail reform uh, in the second week of Parliament. But it's really important that the government act and the community has had enough. The slogan, enough is enough, it has been well used. But I guess the question for the Territory Government is when is it enough for them?